Good morning. I would like to welcome viewers to our time of worship for the parish of Avon Valley on this, the third Sunday after the Epiphany, the 21st of January, 2024. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And let us pray. Almighty God, by grace alone you call us and accept us in your service. Strengthen us by your Spirit and make us worthy of your call. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This morning's Gospel lesson is taken from the first chapter of the Gospel according to St. Mark, beginning at the 14th verse. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. Here ends the reading of this morning's Gospel. Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. With these words, Jesus summoned Simon Peter, Andrew, John, and James to join his band of disciples. This week's reading, similar to the one we heard last week, is about call. The expression Jesus says to the fishermen, I will make you fish for people, is significant. He is calling attention to their activities and routine. Each of us is endowed with time, skills, inclinations, and opportunities to do things. And what we do varies from person to person, from generation to generation, and at different stages of life. Jesus' words imply that the talents that enable us to live out our lives can and do dovetail with the work of God. For fishermen, this would mean fishing. For a baker, let's say, that would mean baking. For a father, that would mean providing and protecting his offspring and those he loves. For a mother, it would be nurturing and caring. It is a reminder for us not to shortchange our lives. What we do is important. Our work, our play, our leisure, our activities no matter how mundane or noble, can and should be offered and dedicated to God. God calls us to participate in his good purpose using our time, talent, and treasure. The word vocation is derived from a Latin root, vocare, to call. Our vocation is our calling, the purpose for why we are here on earth. How we are able to act in response to this call is responsibility. Many careers and professions are referred to as vocations, especially those services that in the past were provided by the church, and this would include health and education. Teachers, nurses, doctors, and clergy are still considered vocations as is any job that allows people to grow and flourish. Fathers and mothers, those providing care for others, including husbands and wives, these too are vocations. But the activities in and of themselves are not the goal. Mother Teresa said it best, Many people mistake our work for our vocation. Our vocation is the love of Jesus. 
we respond best and exercise our responsibility most fully when we listen to the voice of someone who loves us and who we love in return. It is ultimately the love of God that calls us. Our vocation is the working out of our response to that love back to the world. Amen. O God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single piece. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our wraths and sorrows and give peace to your church, peace among nations, peace in our homes and peace in our hearts. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And gathering all our prayers together, let us praise Christ himself taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Christ who walks on wounded feet walk with you on the road. May the Christ who serves with wounded hands stretch out your hands to serve. May the Christ who loves with a wounded heart open your hearts to love. And may you see the face of Christ in everyone you meet. And may everyone you meet see the face of Christ in you. Amen.